is rolling. Stay focused, yeah. Don't. yeah, what's up? Yeah, we out here on Ohio State oh, University God. campus. What, bright? Yeah, we were <laughs> just read the scripture. Let the scripture speak for themselves. First, first scripture is 13, 11. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understand as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Yeah, so all these people out here, they look like they're grown adults. They're not grown adults. They're a bunch of, they're children. The women are children. These grown men, they're children. Most of these men, they don't even act like men. What do they do? They play video games. They're a bunch of little children. They're a bunch of overgrown children. All they care about is playing football. Like we said, they have today they're having a 50th uh, birthday party for Brutus, a mascot. What the fuck? Uh, Goddamn mascot. How childish is that? Uh, none of y'all are men. You're a bunch of children, okay? But, yeah, a bunch of overgrown children. You're not men. Uh, see, a real man is going to stand up for truth. He's going to preach truth. But these ain't men. They're, they're like children. They're a bunch of faggots. They're actually a bunch of bitches. So, you know, to use some proper English. <laughs> That's proper English. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. First Corinthians 14 and 20. Brethren, be not children in understanding. Not be in malice, be ye children. But in understanding, be men. Yeah, so these people don't have no understanding. They're nowhere even, these, these so-called, these males out here, they're nowhere close to being men. They no, they in no way, shape, form, or fashion resemble a man. Okay? Just look at that bunch of limp-wristed, weak, effeminate bitches, man. They, that, that need to grow the fuck up. Right. They, they, they stuck in fantasy land. Like I said, what the main thing they do, they play video games. They play Madden. Playing a PlayStation. It's, it's called a PlayStation. It's called video games. It's a game. Yeah, that's something my little children do. Play video games all day. But these fools, they, they're waiting up. When a new game comes out, they'll wait in line for 10 hours to get that new game. You know what I'm saying? All night long. All night long. Yeah, those sleeping bags and all. Yep. Tent. I mean, because because now the woman in America, the woman's a new man. The woman done took taken on the role the masculine the masculine role. With her butch ass. Yep. Because you got women, they taking over all the positions of power, all the leadership positions. They're all women now. Because the men, they done turned to it. They've been emasculated. Look at them, a bunch of faggots. A bunch of fucking faggots. <laughs> Looking for a soy milk milkshake. Yeah, all the, eating all that soy, right. And that soy has high levels of estrogen in it. Making these dudes grow titties and making one want to kiss boys. Mm. They're a bunch of faggots, mm. man. Look at them. And, and if we say anything manly at all, they'll get mad at us. If we say that uh, being a faggot is wrong, they're like, why'd you say faggot? You should respect everybody. No, we shouldn't. We ain't got to respect nothing. The Bible said there's no respect in person. We ain't going to respect no faggot. We ain't going to respect no adulterer-ass bitch or a whore. Okay, we ain't respect you. But actually, we want to slap the shit out of you. But we're not going to do that. We're going we're gonna to teach you. Here you go, bro. Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones? Will you love simplicity? Because these people, they all about uh, doing some simple ass dumb shit. Because they a bunch of insignificant pieces of nothing. You know what I mean? These people are insignificant, man. Mm -hmm. They're useless eaters. They're insignificant. They're nothing. They're nobodies. They're, they're a waste of space. The average person is a waste of space. What's up? How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools right. hate knowledge? Yeah, when you celebrate the 50th anniversary of Brutus, man, that's a simple-ass shit, man. Foolish. Yeah, it's foolish as hell. 
And all these young college students, they all simple as hell. They all retarded. They don't know nothing. They just, they just, they just need to be put to death. You know what I mean? That's what the Lord is going to do when the Lord comes. I mean, I know that sounds harsh. Yeah, no, I mean. Sounds like music to my ears, bro. <laughs> it's harsh to them. It, it is. <laughs> it's harsh to two thirds. It is harsh to two thirds. Gotta <laughs> be sometimes thinking maybe I'm speaking too. Right. I maybe I'm you. speaking too rudely. I feel you. I feel you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, you know, two, two, two thirds in the unwise. Rudely is just you can't when you speak of rudely you can't be speaking knowledge. Cause, yeah, because these people they all they all love the world. They all part of the world. They love worldly things. They don't care. There ain't nothing spiritual about this about this society. There's nothing spiritual about this world out here. Not a motherfucker. Not a motherfucker. Here you go, bro. This is Ecclesiastes uh, ten and six. Follow. It's set in great dignity. I'm sorry. You see that weirdo? <laughs> yeah, creepy as hell, huh? He looks like uh, Gene Autry. Creepy as shit. Looks like Egon from the Ghostbusters. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, read that again. Creepy as shit. That Ecclesiasticus? Ain't... That's what you call a creepy ass cracker. <laughs> right. Uh, better, AKA, always known as Esau. Yeah, Esau. <laughs> Ecclesiasticus 10 and 6. Folly is set in great dignity. And the rich sit in low places. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. That's what I'm asking. Well, that's what's going to happen. You know what I mean? You know, right now, the leaders of this world, they living good. Or like Esau, he'll come out here. He's living in paradise. Is, this is faggot paradise right here. You know how when the Lord comes back, we're going to be in the kingdom of heaven. But right now, this is, this is the kingdom of heaven for a faggot. You know what I'm saying? For an adulterous whore. If you're a whore and a faggot, you're in paradise right now. Paradise. So soon all this is going to be destroyed. Paradise house. All, all these women's liberties, they're all going to be taken away. All these women, they're going to be put in check. All the faggots are all going to get put to death. And anybody got a problem with it, they're going to get put to death. Mm. And then that's where we're going to be in the kingdom. Quick, they ain't gonna have none. Of, they ain't gonna be no women walking around showing all their body parts, showing their legs and cleavages. Ain't, that's in that's the kingdom, they ain't gonna be walking down the street at all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now without an escort, right. they gonna have to have either their husband walk with them, or their brother, or their cousin, or somebody, uh -huh. somebody responsible uh -huh. who can watch after them properly. You just don't let women just run around all free, like do whatever they want. Walking by themselves, yeah. A woman walking down the street, uncovered, titties, ass showing, walking by themselves. No. Talking shit. Man. Talking shit, too. That's why I was just watching the news before we left. And they said it was like a, it was a mad rapist on the loose. They were just raping the hell out of all kind of women. Oh, we got <laughs> Man, that's good, man. It actually helped. Actually, that rapist, he's actually probably catching some after he rapes one of these hoes. Actually, <laughs> bitches worried about catching some from the rapist. The rapist gonna catch some from these bitches. <laughs> when you think about it, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> you might not even want to rape one of these hoes. Regret it too. Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Hell yeah. Oh, go ahead. The Peace to Asticus 26 and 8. A drunken woman and a gather abroad causes great anger, and she will not cover her own shame. Right, these women, they don't cover their shame, they're shameless. Just like a, uh, that goes, links up with uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 26 and 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. These women, they walk around shameless. It's like that Garth Brooks song, Shameless. They shameless as can be, man. Look at that open the window. Huh? Rainbow window. Fucking faggot shit. Man. Yeah, it's one of my neighbors got a big ass rainbow flag in front of the too. Hey, you know them, you know like them flags and flags. That, that flag. goes with this country. No bad ban the Confederate flag. Mm -hmm. But nobody will have a problem with uh, the sodomite, the, the flag that represents AIDS and uh put up. Uh, 
uh, pus and uh, pus filled dick and, <laughs> pus leaking out the and ass. a bloody asshole. I mean, they love that flag. It's just backwards as hell, man. That's why there's a lot of death coming, man. No morals. The Lord, when the Lord returns to this earth, He's gonna be stopping you fools' with heads like grapes. There's gonna be a lot of death and destruction out here, and most of these people are not gonna make it. Most of you are not going to make it. You're going to die. You, they deserve to die. Four. Look at this fat, purple, fat, faggy. Look at that big, fat, purple wearing bitch. These people just go. Just looking at it just makes you want to. It just makes you want to puke. Joe, two and one. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord coming, for it is nine and eight. Right, the day of the Lord is coming. That's the whole reason we out here to why to say the day of the Lord is coming. We've been saying it. And hey, look, everybody's out here having a good old time. I bet you half these people don't even know that the economy is collapsing right now. <laughs> what did how how you going how are they gonna party when the ATM it shut off and don't work. Ain't no electricity. When the Federal Reserve notes is no longer of any value. Well, see how much fun you gonna have then. Imagine that, man. Cause you know, these vicious ass men out here that's already no good piece of shit, it, it's gonna multiply on them in those days. It's gonna multiply on them, man. Everybody gonna bunker down, dig in deep. Women gonna be hiding and shit. Yep. Hiding, hiding. Looking for protection. Yeah, because right now these women are monsters. Hiding oh. from the tempest. Look, I got a scripture, bro. The backs of that scripture he brought out. I got a precept. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Holy fuck. Get it on camera. Proverbs 14 and 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hand. So what's that talking about? Cause these women out here, they are foolish women. They, they don't build, these women don't build their houses up. These women out here are hoes, and bitches, a bunch of nasty ass sluts. And they destroy their own household. They break up their families. They leave their husbands. A bunch of no good, dirty ass bitches. Whores. Whores. That's a curse, man. No, it, the Lord's laughing, bro. The Lord is the one that did that. The Lord is laughing. That was the Lord who did that. Hey, hey, the Lord is offended and he got a he got a bad he got a thing out for two thirds. That's why you're supposed to fear the Lord. Because that could be you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want the Lord to do that to my face. What the what two thirds say? When the Lord's getting beat that beat down, man. Let his blood be on us and our children. You know? That's why I was telling this kid the other day, I was telling about, about how I teach him. Huh? Because they evil. It's crazy. Can you imagine that after the Lord went through what he went through? And then they say some shit like that, man? That's all the shame right there. That was worse. Than, <laughs> that, that dude was worse than that dude from that movie, The Mask. Yeah. You that movie that was shared? Better the Lord, man. The Lord, Lord, man. The Lord will fuck you up, man. Yep, yep, yep. That's why you're supposed to fear the Lord. When he, he was carrying the cross and shit, he went through thousands and thousands of people, man. He was he was put on display. And you know, it's our people right there laughing at him. They even stripped him butt naked. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. He's on the cross, butt naked. Yep, yep. They took his clothes off of him. Part they cast the lots for his garments. Yep. They humiliated the Lord. Yep, yep, yep. And now they still laugh at him out here. They look at us like we some broke down, um, broke down UFO that just landed. Yep. Then if we tell them about the Lord, they're like, "Ha, that's some bullshit." Mm -hmm. Make believe story. Yeah, make believe. A man, uh, he was just a man. Or, man, they come up with all kind of man. And then they'll they'll, they'll say all kind of blasphemous things about the Lord. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, he was gay. Yeah, they'll say that Jesus. Yeah. Was, oh, he was gay. Right. 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 Man, y'all gonna get destroyed. Get, get, they, they gonna get it. They gonna get it. They gonna get it. Where was I at, man? 
Yes, yeah, so the day of the Lord is terrible. Y'all don't y'all don't want to see the day of the Lord. Hey, what's that scripture in uh, Amos? Let's say they don't want to see the day of the Lord. Yeah. yeah, they don't they don't want to see that, man. It's gonna be crazy. Just like uh, I'm gonna get Matthews. Yeah, we can't wait. Ourselves personally, we can't wait. We praying that the Lord returns right now. Because when he comes, he's going to come out of the sky with those chariots and those so-called UFOs. That's going to be a terrible sight. To the average person, to the average zombie, they're going to be scared to death. They're going to literally shit themselves. Their intestines is going to drop out when they see those chariots. Because them chariots is coming out of the sky, and they, they're going to be uh, shooting your ass with a laser beam. You're going to get incinerated. I don't know how else to explain it. Because the Lord got weapons you ain't never seen. It, it's beyond a, yeah, it's incomprehensible. I said a laser beam. That, that's, that's my man-made weapon. The Lord got weapons you ain't ready for. Yeah, I sound foolish saying laser beams. Man, the Lord gonna bring that uh, fire you ain't never seen. Mm -hmm. You get sick to your stomach out here. Joel 2 and 2. A day of darkness and a gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and they strong. There have not been ever the light, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. Yup, that's that, that's that fire. <laughs> that's hell. It's gonna be right here on the earth. It's not in a, the underground caverns right here. All this shit's gonna get burnt. It's all gonna be act, turned into a pile of ashes. Hey, 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 these arrogant, proud pieces of shit think that America's missile defense system is gonna protect them. No motherfucking missile defense system is way overseas. Spread it out everywhere. <laughs> shit. They gonna protect the goddamn thing. They <laughs> protect the shit. <laughs> Israel on their Iron Dome. Uh. Oh, and uh, David Sling, I think they call it. Oh, David Sling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some bullshit. That's some corny shit, man. David Sling. More like Esau's asshole. <laughs> That's some fucking faggots, man. Can you, can you know the Lord ain't with that uh, them fake Jews over there in Israel? Dude, that is not the real Israelite. There's no way you could even ever say they was real Israelite. They don't even act like real Israelites. They don't. They, they look like jackasses. They look like heathens. Wearing all that black, and they got do. Where in the Bible does it say that Israel Israelites walk around with little doo doo curls hanging from the side of each head with a big black hat, looking like a fucking weirdo? Where? Show me that scripture. That's crazy. A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burning. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness gate, and nothing can escape them. They ain't y'all ain't gonna escape. They, when, when when the missiles hit, you actually gonna see people trying to outrun the missile, mm -hmm. and you, we just gonna laugh at them. Speed in the car. They gonna get like two feet and just poof, ashes. That wall of fire, come in slow motion. Yeah. Slow motion. Oh, yeah, yeah, it might seem like forever. Yeah, yeah. Two seconds to seem like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> What's that movie? Uh, Dread, Judge Dread, or uh, uh, when they was in the tower taking that drug that when they took it. Oh yeah, it was Judge Dread. Yeah, was yeah. that was that in? That slow-mo? Yeah, slow-mo, slow-mo, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's she gonna like, slow down. Oh, that must be like that Flocka. Yeah. <laughs> that's, hot, that's hot in the Columbus now. Flocka? Yep. You see people gone off that Flocka walking down the street, they can't even walk. Ooh. Man, can you imagine that terror in that walk? It's gonna be beautiful. When you already seen a baby eating, and when you already seen their mom or their brother and sister getting yeah, cause chopped part, up. Yeah, because it just gonna be a quick, painless death. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a lot of pain and grief that's gonna come before that. A living nightmare. Yep. A living fucking nightmare. That's and we're gonna be laughing. Like we said the economy's collapsing right now. Hey, hi. Even your boy Gerald Salente said that collapse is coming this fall. Mm -hmm. And he's an expert. Yep. They actually went to school for this shit. Yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Right. He's got a proven track record. He, know, he knows what he's talking about. Ain't right. Ain't right. He ain't just somebody that's studying Mario Brothers. This uh -huh. motherfucker, he, this is life. Right, because these, pe these people will come out here with no knowledge. They don't know nothing about history, nothing about how the world works, and they're going to tell us that we don't know what we're talking right, about. Right, right, that's right. Don't even know what the fuck inflation is. What's the dude from, um, it was a, it's a combination, it's a it's a tag team, the girl and the guy on RT News. Max Kaiser. That's him, always talking about Oh, he's him. an expert. Yep, yep. Oh, he, oh. He's a big time stockbroker. Mm -hmm. Yep, I mean, yep. he, he's been in the stock games for years. Yep, yep, that's all they business. And what's your girl, she look kind of good too, for an older like lady. Stacy? Or, uh, yeah, I think it is Stacy. Something like that, yeah, yeah. She got some nice legs on her. Ah, fuck, man. she's a slut. Having no history, right? You bastard. Shut up, Esau. That's why you're going into slavery, bitch. That's Esau. Yeah. We've been clowning for a few years now. I'm literally clowning on that motherfucker. This is foul ass spirit. Foul ass spirit. I mean, he's going to have to pay for that. Dude, uh, one shirt. I don't know. Yeah. He says he's a Sephardic Jew. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What did it say? Yeah. Oh, maybe. I can't remember. I just remember he's a big faggot. That's all I remember. All these men out here, man, all look like a bunch of... Um, I'm, not, I'm not playing. All these men out here look like a bunch of emasculated faggots. A bunch of weak bitches. Really, I mean, it's disgusting, man. It's a, it's a goddamn shame, man. For real. You look at every, almost every last man we've seen got an effeminate spirit on them. Just look, they, they just look like a weak bitch. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. Every last one. Hey, no wonder y'all in fucking slavery. No more wonder we're all slaves. You're a bunch of faggots. But that's good, that's the Lord set it up that way. Yeah, docile. That's the word, they're docile. We're like the elders were saying, they're a bunch of, uh, they're not, they're a bunch of beta males. Like, we're alpha males, they're beta males. Like, like, I mean, we got out here to, for, for witnesses against these people, man. So we give these people an example of past Nations like Sodom and Gomorrah, Rome. They was all feminine. You know? Right, right. What the Lord, what's the word he used? Similar to. Yeah. Similar to. Even the Egyptians were effeminate. Mm -hmm. He said all, even the pharaohs all wore eyeliner. All similar nations from ancient times yeah. to and now. It's all simple. It's all, they all yeah. have uh, 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 something in, in common. Yeah, they're all faggots. Right, right. They're wicked gods from their wicked deeds, their wicked actions, their wicked ass thoughts. These are some foul ass people, man. They are some foul and that, people. And we out here to judge them. Not to make fucking buddies and friends and shit. Not yeah, we ain't out here to make friends with nobody. Right. We, we don't, out here to condemn. We don't care if you agree with us. We don't care if you think we're being hateful, speaking hate speech. We don't care. Because what you think doesn't matter. <laughs> Your opinion does not matter. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Matter of fact, keep your opinion going. I got a, I got a precept. Oh, did you oh, already okay, read the ahead, rest of the Amos? No, I just got a quick precept. Oh, go ahead, go yeah, go yeah, Joe, that's a good script. Go we got to read go the rest ahead. of it. I got a precept. Thought I had it. Matthew 24 and 29. 
immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be broken and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven the son of man that's the one they call jesus that's yahweh shod that's the son of the most high then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect his elect, his elect. <laughs> from the four winds from one end of the heavens to another so the so the Bible said when the Lord returns, all the tribes of the earth are going to mourn. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be weeping and gnashing their teeth. And they said they were going to jump for joy, did they? They said they're going to mourn. So when the Lord comes back, he, the Lord is the grim reaper. You know what I'm saying? He's that rider on that black horse. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is coming back to destroy and to incinerate and obliterate. And then he, he's going to, like, the, what was that Isaiah 66? We might as well get that. It said, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Go ahead. Micah 5, 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. Such as they have not heard. You ain't never going to see no destruction like this. Because how did it say the Lord was coming back? They didn't say he was coming back in reincarnation. People say Jesus was reincarnated. No. They say he's coming out the heavens with clouds and angels. That means he's coming out the sky. But look, when the Lord comes back, he's coming out the sky in so-called spaceships and UFOs. That's right. And just like the scriptures give us instructions to hasten that day, the Lord is doing the same thing. You know? He can't wait. Right. Hasten back and forth problems. He's just like us. You know, probably throwing thunderbolts across the universe. <laughs> we got his spirit. Yep, yep. Shit. So these people, they ain't right, because the ancient aliens ain't coming out the sky. The Anunnaki. <laughs> you know, they, they've seen ancient aliens. That's how Esau, that's how the devil tries to hide the truth from people. He'll put the truth right in front of your eyes, give you all this proof of UFOs. But then they'll try to say the UFOs are Anunnaki when it's actually the Lord of the Bible. <laughs> These people, they, they stupid. They'll buy it, buy it anyway, though, you know? Because I've watched a lot of ancient alien shows. Have they ever even mentioned so-called Jesus one time? They don't ever talk about it. <laughs> so y'all know America's about to be destroyed by the God of the Bible? They about to go uh, stitch some cocaine and shove anal beads up their ass. They look like a bunch of... too, man. They pull it out the ass and they put it in the house and shit, man. <laughs> anal beads, man. What's... I mean, why the person... What are they doing? Why? What's the point? By putting it in your mouth. Dude. <sighs> look, I told you about that... I don't know if I should even say it on camera. But these bitches is nasty. Like I was telling them right before I came out here, I was at the gas station yesterday filling up the tank, right? And I went inside the gas station, there's this bitch in there, and her pussy smelled so bad that I almost puked. Should I, my I, land be greatly polluted? I almost passed out. It smelled like a like a like a rotting corpse, like a dead body on top of a pile of fish heads. I can't explain it. But her pussy stank so bad that everybody evacuated the store and they kicked her out the store. I'm not making this up. That's how bad it smelled. Not washing and shit. So what was she doing? We kind of have a clue. <laughs> and she looked good too. I forgot oh, to tell you that. No. Surprise. They say that's the ones to be aware of. Be afraid of. It's a pretty ass, good looking woman. I'm the worst one. 
That was nasty. I bet there's somebody out there like, up. Oh, no, I don't smell nothing. They're going to lick her coochie. They would do that, man. That's that these people are nasty, man. There's so many weirdos out here. Look at this douche. How are you supposed to take these people serious, man? These people are a fucking joke, man. Esau's a fucking joke. And people wonder why we cuss so much. Use so many bad words. Look at all these weird ass people, man. He looks like Tony Hawk's old brother. Looks like a Jew. We should get some more uh, cloud scriptures. Yeah. I'm getting a revelation. I ain't got it yet. I'm about to get it. Psalms 18 and 6. In my distress, I called upon you, Howard, and he cried. And cried upon, cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his, out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. There went up out of smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down. The darkness was under his feet, and he rode upon a cherub. And did fly. They rode upon a cherub and did fly. What is that talking about? This book, how old is that book? It's over 3,000 years old. And he said the Lord was flying. <laughs> it wasn't no airplane. Yay, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. That's talking about those so called UFOs, those chariots, the chariots of fire. Okay? People might call it a, a spaceship or something. And it ain't no ancient aliens. Okay? Because the, the Lord and the angels, the, first of all, the angels was flying around in chariots. And the angels are celestial beings. They're not fallen angels. You hear all kind of madness now, right? The Nephilim? The Nephilim. No, they ain't no Nephilim. <laughs> they ain't no fallen angels. They're celestial beings. They don't have sex. No celestial superpowered beings who would destroy you. That's right. That's right. That's right. You want to get a better look at y'all non, non spiritual motherfuckers. That's what the, the Super Saiyans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's sort of like that. Yeah, yeah. Since they can't the lower order angels. The Super Saiyans is more like us when we get our power, though. That's, that's, right. that's right. Yeah, that Super Saiyans. Super Saiyans is obviously based on the Bible. That's bad shit. <laughs> Just like even the Super Saiyans, you see, they use the. Uh, they used the seven Dragon Balls, seven, yeah. and, they, and they put them together in forms that like that six-point store. Mm -hmm. Where the hell did they get that? That new Dragon Ball Z with the gods is bad as God, Frieza God. That's some bad shit, man. Yeah, I mean, they, they hanging out, Goku and Vegeta's hanging out with the most high in the Lord. <laughs> That's who it is, the most high. You seen it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't see it, but I was... They're hanging out with the most high in the Lord. I meant to watch it. But they got the most high looking like a rabbit, and the Lord looking like... Some fairies, huh? But that's some Japanese people. They always right, get bugged right, out. Right, right. Vegeta's the best Vegeta's always been my favorite. Because he talks like this. I'll, Vegeta, too. He's my favorite. I'll kick your ass. Vegeta cusses, too. That's why I like him. <laughs> He's more vicious. He's got a, a, yeah. a warrior class mentality. He does. Yeah, he don't take shit from nobody. He tells Bowman to shut the fuck up sometimes. Yeah. That's always been my favorite character. Yeah. My son. Hey, look, that's my son's favorite cartoon. That's all he watched. I'd rather than watch that than some American cartoon that got little transvestite children in the cartoon. Yeah, SpongeBob's a faggot. Did you see that episode of SpongeBob where they show Patrick? He made a uh, he made a dick oh. out of sand and started licking it. You know, he was building a sand castle or something. And he took a pile of sand and made a big cock and started licking it. 
and SpongeBob. The, 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 the dog character, his hat. Is like, yeah, his hat. Oh, Goofy. Dick. Yeah, hats and dick. It has a dick. Look, you get on YouTube right now, and they got an old black and white Mickey Mouse cartoon where he's working in cheese. He's making Swiss cheese at a cheese factory, and he's putting the holes in the Swiss cheese with his dick. You get on get on YouTube, type in Mickey Mouse cheese dick or something like that. You'll find it. But it, just like in Little Mermaid, they got when you watch Little Mermaid, it's like all kind of cocks all over the place. So all, all these cartoons, especially in America, are all like got a homosexual vibration in them. Oh, oh, Lion King, yeah, that's some gay shit. They get sex in the sand, and you know, actually, because Lion King is a ripoff of a Japanese cartoon called uh, Kimba the White Lion. There's a Japanese cartoon called Kimba, but what's the lion? He's a white lion, though, but what's the lion's name in the American one? It's Simba. Kimba, they're fucking thieves, man. He Look saw who they got doing their soundtrack. Elton John. He has no imagination. A flamer. Yeah, they stole it. I mean, everything about uh, the Lion King. Look at King this shit coming up Kimba. on us. Oh, uh, Simba, huh? Oh, like, fuck. You know, that would, you know that bitch is not from the Middle East. No, she ain't following no dietary laws. Hell no, you know she eating that pork. She eat everything she eat. Everything ever in the office. <laughs> she ate it all. Did y'all see my It's like I got another pound of I'll go bring them cloud scriptures out. Okay. That's a, that's where the spirit we in right now. Here we go. This is Revelation um, 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. That cloud is a so-called UFO. They didn't call them UFO. That, that term was invented in the 1950s, right? But they got they got paintings from the Renaissance period to show people flying around in spaceships. I mean, you y'all watch Ancient Aliens? Like I said, it's not the Anunnaki or the, the Ancient Aliens. It's the angels and the Lord flying in those spaceships. Because what they found to tell you in those Ancient Alien shows is like a lot of those paintings that show the spaceships were like Christian paintings, or or the uh, the Aztecs, or the Mayan, you seen the, the Mayan sculptures they got, the wall release with the dude in the spaceship or whatever. Those were Israelites who, who made those paintings. Right, Aztecs. The Aztecs and Mayans were Israelites from, from the Northern Kingdom, from the Northern Ten Tribes. They came over to the Americas 2,500 years ago, or well, roughly, a little more than that. Those was Israelites. They knew about the, the chariots. Yeah. It was a little Nikki. Moment in all reality. <laughs> yeah, this is nothing really. A couple of days. Just, yeah, yeah. Day, two days and a half. Yeah. Two and a half. Real days. life little Nikki. Uh, no. What's that? Uh -oh. In the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the raiment remnant were affrighted and gave glory to But that's 7,000, yeah, obviously 7,000, that represents completion. Right. There can be a lot more than 7,000 getting slain. Millions. <laughs> it's going to be a complete destruction. <laughs> Not a billion. The second war was passed, and behold, the third war coming. Quick looking at Esau. <laughs> like you eyeballing me, boy? Something. Right, right. <laughs> they used to do that to us in boot camp. If you look at the drill instructor, look at it in the wrong way, that's your ass. That's what, no, that's the, you ain't supposed to be looking at us all crazy like that. Eyeballing me and shit. Look the fuck at the ground. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's supposed to be doing. Yeah, stay at the ground, bitch. Especially Mother Nations, man. Look at all hey, you get tired of these heathens, man. Looking at you, staring at you. Cause, you know, Esau, he'll try to gaze into your eyes and shit. He's a fat. Start smelling. Trying to sense some Trying to. What was you reading? Oh, back. I'm back. Okay, I want to read this real quick. I'm jumping to the 
Exodus. Go ahead. Oh, we got Exodus 19? Yeah. Oh, got Exodus it. Exodus 19, Mark. It's 14. Four, uh, it's fire all through there. Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I'm going to read that again to the bus. Revelation 1 and 7. This is what happened when the Lord is coming back to the earth. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. That says the same thing as Matthew 24, when it said all the tribes of the earth will mourn. This says all kindreds of the earth shall wail. It's like 2nd Ezra 13, chapter 3. Destroys all the armies. Yeah. Comes out the water. Uh, some of how I say, let me just read it. Because the Lord ain't coming yeah. back to play patty cakes, man. Right. I like how I say some of them were glad, some of them were sad, yeah. some of them were bound. That's going to be beautiful. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be laughing at these fools. Celebrate. We're going to sing the song of Moses. Celebrating was was a uh, drink of wine while we laughing at these fools, man. It does. It says in Revelation we're going to sing the song of Moses. You know where that's at? I need a new Bible. Okay, here we go. This is like second Ezra 13 and 1. I want to read all this. I'm all just like reading this. But the point is down in the it's down in Twitter. And this is like second Ezra 13 and 1. And it came to pass at the seven days I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. That must have been a horrible wow. sight, man. A horrible sight. Did it say thousands of angels? Yeah, thousands of heaven. Thousands of heaven. Well, yeah. thousands of, that's the angels. Yep. Hey, hold on, I got a, let me get a precept uh, for you okay. real okay. quick. I got a precept for that. Cause watch, watch this. This this proves to you that first of all, people, oh the apocrypha, that's not the Bible. It says the same thing as the, the rest of the Bible. Ain't what that some what was this? Just some extracurricular activity King James was doing? You know? Stupid. Yeah, because everybody loved King James. Right. So if you're a King James Bible lover, then you should love the King James Apocrypha. That's right. That's part of the Bible. Besides, the Spirit's working with us to use it, so it has to be part of the fire. Yeah, it has to be part of it. It wouldn't have so much fire in it if it wasn't. Alright. Meat. I hear it. I got I got a precept for you. Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots of the most high are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, the holy place. That's going to be a bad sight. We're going to just drop to our knees crying and happy. Bro. You know, I just can't wait, man. We're going to literally just drop like, yo, I can finally get some rest. Right. That's swing low, sweet chariot coming to carry me home. That's that sweet to us. It's a sweet chariot. That's right. Sweet and nice and comforting. We're running, to the devil. We're running into a basement hide and shit. Right. <laughs> to these devils, it's a terrifying sight. To us, it's like, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like seeing the kingdom of heaven. I got, oh, I got one more. Psalm 68, 32. Sing unto God, ye kingdoms of the earth. Oh, sing praises unto the Lord, Salah. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old. To him, not her. <laughs> it says to him, but what is the heavens of heavens? The, the heaven is the sky, the, the blue sky. But the heavens of heavens, that's outer space. We don't know what's out there. Ain't nobody been out there. They claim they've been out there. They've been out there. They can't. They, they've been way up in, up in this. 
They've been way up in the firmament. They ain't been past the firmament. Can't go past the firmament. They can't do it. Can't do it. They, they've never been to the moon. The moon landing was a hoax. Okay, they don't have satellites going to Jupiter. It's all lies. They don't have uh, drones on the moon. I mean, on Mars. Did you see that bullshit picture? The Mars rover? A, a, a crash. That's Sherry, bullshit. Man, yeah. Ain't, they, we know it's some bullshit. You know, after, I, you know, I read the comments. We read comments on everything. Yeah. There was some people clowning on it too, man. <laughs> they was clowning on it, man. They do be clear. It's easy to debunk that shit, Dude, man. Nobody's fault. Nobody believe that shit but children and Esau. Children. Children and Esau. Well, like we started the lesson off today. <laughs> children. All these grown people are liking yeah. the children. They have childlike mentalities. Actually, my, cause I know children are smarter than most of these adults. These people are dumb as hell, man. We're surrounded by retards. Actual retarded people are everywhere. Everywhere you look is a retard. The gravels and rocks for brains. And they think they smart as hell too. They think they smart as hell because they know every movie that Martin Scorsese directed. That's the pinnacle of their wisdom. Well, let me read this again real quick. So him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old, lo, he doth, doth send out his voice and that a mighty voice, because the Lord don't talk like a faggot. The Lord, when the Lord speaks, the earth trembles. Ascribe ye strength unto God. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds, in the clouds of sky. Do y'all even know where that's at? I don't think they even know where that's at. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know shit from apple butter. You tell them the cloud, where's the clouds? Where's that? People are dumb. Oh God, thou, oh listen to this. Oh God, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be the most high. So this said the Lord is terrible out of his holy places. Okay, back to second Ezra. 13. And, uh, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, and they burned, and they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth fell into the field of fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue that man that came out of the sea. Lord Armageddon. Um, yeah, it's a Hebrew Harmagawan. Uh, you remember I told you? Uh, Hank Williams Sr. Oh, give me on camera. Hank Williams Sr. is an Israelite. He's a, uh, a white man trapped in a black man's body. He liked to drink whiskey and slap bitches. That's right. But uh, but he has a song. But he has a song called uh, "When the Fire Comes Down from Heaven." He said all he did was sing about the Bible. Get on YouTube, type in Hank when the fire comes down from heaven. <laughs> type that in. He got another song called Dust on the Bible. Saying you got dust on the Bible. Tell me you need to wipe that dust off your Bible. But he got another song talking about Armageddon, but he don't say Armageddon, he says Armageddon. He says it like the Hebrew way. You know what I mean? And he he had scriptures in his song. He take he he take he got a song where he tell you to look up Matthew 24. He said you need to get go go to Matthew 24. <laughs> That's my dude, man. Right, right, right. Yeah, every time I hear, hear that word, when you say it in Hebrew, Harmagawa, that made me think about that. Right. And that fire come because that fire is gonna come down from the heavens, man. Ain't That's no right. stopping it. That's right. Like Malachi said, it's gonna be a what's that Malachi said? It's gonna be a fervent heat. Ooh, I'm about to get it, man. Malachi phone. The one in, in, um, in Ezra's second Ezra when he said an oven went by. <laughs> an oven. Okay. And after this I beheld and lo, there gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heavens to subdue the man that came out of the sea. But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. But I could not have 
I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was greater, and I could not. It's that gigantic ship, that chariot. What people will try to call it a mothership or something. Just a big, it'll cover the whole sky. It probably, I mean, you can imagine how they got in the movies. You got the big giant ship, then all kind of little smaller ships are coming out the big ship. Man. And it's not aliens. That was like my dream I had uh, yesterday or two days ago. It was from a distance with a giant chair in the sky and, and, and a whole, and I mean thousands of little ones spilling out of it, going everywhere, man. Wow. Spilling out of it. You say you had a dream? Yeah, it was a dream. A dream. That's a, that's a beautiful dream. Right, it was bad, man. It was bad, man. That ship gonna be so big, probably part of it will be sticking out of space, man. And still be in this. Yeah, covered up. It's unimaginable how big it is. You can't even imagine it. Like what's the scripture says? Oh, uh, that's a cut that curse. It's a curse that goes through the whole earth. Okay, um after and after this I'll be held in low. All they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, yet they're spiked. I'm gonna look for that real quick. I, I you already got you. Right. You know, I'm, <laughs> I think it's Zachariah? I think it is. It's been a, no, it is Zachariah. It's in the role. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a bad scripture, well, too, man. We used to bring that out here. I'll be fucked. Oh, what do you say? Looked at one of the signs and said, What the fuck? I looked at him and said, What the fuck? Right, 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 right. boy George. He feels good, right? You gotta hear a homie. <laughs> oh my fucking god. That looks like goddamn Frank is the black Frankenstein's bride. I can't look at this one, man. It's gonna make me shit. Look. So, you gonna tell me the Lord's not gonna destroy this place? Cause I can't, man. I can't look at that shit. It makes my stomach hurt, man. Cause I can't do nothing right now. Man. You know, I hope, gotta hold this stress in. It's stress after a while, man. It get to you, man. It literally starts to kill you, man. She's like, you know, it's amazing. It's the land of filth and degeneracy. Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah was conservative compared to this. Yes, sir. You would think that was the Republican yes, National Convention compared to this. <laughs> That's amazing, man. That's amazing, man. Let's stay on track, man. I, I don't want to think about that. It makes me stomach hurt. That shit, man, it, it does damage to my spirit. Because that's some foul shit. That's some foul shit. Get the facts, get the little things that you're Hey, man, you see them motherfuckers walk by? Transvestites. You see them transvestites? Well, you know what? They fight blending in perfect and well, actually they are. <laughs> this is Ohio State University. Trim just like this. That's why we nicknamed Ohio State Butt Guys. Maybe he was a trainee chaser. Do <laughs> the chase, Do the chase. My wife bugged me out the other day. She was like, look, a doodle chasing. <laughs> My wife said that, man. That's a, isn't that a song? Yeah, by Scarface. Yeah, I remember. She's like, look, yeah. a doo-doo chaser. <laughs> There's a lot of doo-doo chasers out here. That's smart right there. That's smart. That's yeah. smart. No English. It's all kind of doo-doo crumbs floating around there. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That is he smart. Said, that is smart, though, isn't it? <laughs> the bitch probably got SARS. You know, little, little, uh, what you call them, molecules of shit? Yeah, it really is, though. It Actually, really is. it really is. Yep, yep. You're right. Yep. I should start wearing a mask at all times. I get, I get everybody something they want. Especially Esau. She's come by breathing on us. Don't be breathing on us, Esau. It's for you to read. I have a fool to read this? No, I said it's for you to read. Are you a so-called Jew? The message's not for you, but it's just for you Are you a Polak? No, I'm not. It's kind of offensive. Why is that offensive? Single me out. Clearly, you guys aren't the family. That's your family, though. You're a, you're a Esau. You know you're actually Italian. Italian. You're not Italian. I am Italian. You ain't no real Italian. I, I actually, my grandma's from Italy, so you ain't no real Italian. Now you don't have the spirit of a woman. No. I don't have the spirit of a woman. You ain't got the spirit, man. You know, 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 you're not a non Bible no. reader. Eat them, Mike. Eat them, Mike. That's a nation. That's, every nation got its own name. Oh, okay. You know, 
It's, it's, a, a, it's, it's called the table of the Edo Pedo. You know, not there. Like for example, I'm not a nigga, or a black person, or African American. I'm an Israelite. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. We are Hebrew Israelites. Just like you Esau is trying to say he Italian. Oh, I'm Italian. We're all we're all Hebrews. See, you're trying to tell me. No. No. Hey, no. you are Hebrew. I'm an Israelite. No, we're all Israelites. You're not an Israelite. You are Edomite. Hebrew. Edomite. Okay. Oh, did you find it? I already it? had it. Jack Ryan Fox. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been had it. Well, I'm reading. I'm a modern Jew. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of your brothers. Oh, okay. That's one of your brothers. You're, you're, yeah, you, you probably descend from one of the Dukes of Edom. You know what's funny is actually I'm one of your brothers too. I don't imagine all humans are. No, not all. all. No, so he, the Lord separated all nations. It is an evil brother. I'm an evil brother. Yeah, you ever play? You ever play Metal Gear? How you got Liquid Snake and Solid Snake? I have never played Metal. Gear. What? Definite Edomite. See, he's Edomite. Edomite. Uh, that Edomite. makes. Oh, uh, I don't. Okay. Edomite. We don't have the same interests. We have nothing in common. You know. We like manly things. We like. You know, are you a homosexual? No, I'm not. Actually. You're a doo doo chaser, ain't you? A doo doo chaser. I'm not sure what that means. Either. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's looking for a man to sleep with. Oh, I, no, I'm good on that. Look for friends. So let me ask you a question. Let's be serious. For yeah. <laughs> so, so you think it's cool for, uh, for homosexuals to get married? I don't I mean, I don't have a problem with it. You're so right. Eat a mic. <laughs> All right. There you go. I'll you're take the, my Edomite ass out of here. <laughs> All right, Satan. Like, is he my ass out of here? I mean, come on, man. Hey, at least he acknowledged it before he left. He told you he was going to turn us into his friends. He's like, I'm looking for <laughs> hey, friends. Hey, you came out here, he was at the bus stop and cost me some tape Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was bad. I got that back right on the bus stop. You want to read it? You can read it. No, no, you got it. He was happy that you got it. I let you do it. <laughs> I cheated. I he used found to, it though. He found it without cheating though. I used a search engine. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, you know, that's what the UN4 is for us to use. That's an extension to our, our brain. You know, plug a memory card, a computer, or whatever you call them, cards, or whatever. SD cards. These, that's yeah. all it is, man. That's all these phones and tablets are. They we just plug them in. What do you think they had up in the temple of the Lord? They had some wow, crazy. Ooh. Yeah, well, the temple of the Lord, the First temple, Solomon's temple, yeah, yeah, will bug yeah. you out. Yeah, right, right. It was only for the priest. To it was exactly only the Levite was allowed in the holy of the that's holies, right, that's right. of where the oracle was. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so the, for the most part, Israel tried to keep on. Yeah. You know? Except right for, you had that one. Uh, was the the, the the king of Judah that got leprosy because he tried to do this job of the Levite? Right, right, right. We used right. to talk about him all the time. Uh. Man, what was his name? I'm having a brain fart. We can look it up. I'll look it up real quick. Go ahead, read that scripture. Ze Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I looked and lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, a flying rope. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying rope. What seest thou? <laughs> the length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breath, what does it say, breath? breath yeah. Yeah. They're up 10 cubits. I'm just giving you a description of the chariot that he's watching when he's seeing it. They, they oh, said, I'm sorry. But the cubits off in this present world is off. I think they're a lot smaller than the ancient cubits. Well, yeah, but there's, there's more than one cubit in the Bible also. Right, right, right. Because if you look, they said one mountain was so many cubits, but then it used... So we don't exactly know what a cubit is. Right, right. And, and what's our chairs yeah. coming all different shapes and sizes, man? Yeah. Uh, but go ahead, read that again, man. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying rope. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that, that goeth for, forth over the that face of the whole earth. That is a bad scripture. That's the curse. That is a bad scripture. That's the man. curse to go over the whole face of the earth. That, that, that goes hand in hand with Matthew, with Ooh. Ezra, Acts all, one, all these Acts one. Psalms, all these scriptures we've been reading. Now, don't you know? Don't you know the Bible? You know the Bible is a UFO handbook. You know all get terrorized by UFOs. By UFOs gonna come out of the sky. And oh, they gonna dis devil. disintegrate all you devils. <laughs> 
Matthew 24, 27. For as the light ain't coming from out of the east and shineth even from unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. I just read that earlier. You were saying that one in Zach though? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, but that goes hand in hand. Yeah, we said. Maybe we should title. What was your title of this I get, video? I get just pumped every time. What should be the name of the video? Because um, we've been talking about UFOs the whole time. Right. Because um, the Bible is a UFO handbook. The curse that goes forth over the face of the earth. And that is a good. That's the good UFO that goes forth over the face of the earth. You just said it. The Bible is a UFO handbook. Huh? That's what it's for, man. You just man. said the, the title. Of the Bible is a UFO handbook. The Bible is a UFO handbook. handbook. Uh -huh. Then I'll put that scripture in the description. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> now you're going to see that video. You're going to see that scripture all on all these two-third videos that talk about the Anunnaki and all yeah. that, man. They take, they actually watch our videos and use them, man. They do use them. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, then you got other camps. They're, they like to call me a cracker. But they, hey, know, somebody they, they still know what's from them. Y'all want to catch some syphilis? <laughs> right, they go too far. Maybe you're right though, cause I won't even let my dog put the power. Like you said, all these UFO documentaries you watch, and they'll try to use the Bible to prove that UFOs are real, which they are, but they never use the New Testament, and they never talk about Jesus, who we know his true name is Yahweh Shai. You know, just for the retard, so you can understand who I'm talking about. I like Akbar. Zechariah 5 and 3. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as of, of this, this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on the side according Esau. to it. Because hey, you know, you think about it, man, right? Right now, there's a big anti-Christ agenda going on. Everything, every, everything politically and spiritually in the news and the popular culture, everything is geared towards uh, hating on the Bible, especially, you know, the New Testament, the one they call Jesus. But there's a big anti-Christ uh, agenda. That's, right. That's why you got all these Christians over there in the Middle East getting tortured, getting murdered. Uh, the, the U.S. government is funding ISIS, giving weapons to Al Qaeda, and the Al Qaeda is going. They, they're killing all those Christians. All of them is Israelites over there getting put to death. Right. Soon they go. They want. They want the same thing to happen here. That's why they allowed the Satan, the Satan, the Church of Satan, to have a, to have ceremony, to have a satanic ritual and a ceremony up in Detroit. When they, they had that Baphomet statue. Yeah, man, it's hard to concentrate. I, I try my best to keep focused. Yeah, right. He on the tour right now. And they ain't telling beforehand people what shit he's going to. And, that, and that's why they just legalized gay marriage. Because it's a, the anti-Christ nation. It's the anti-Christ, anti-Bible agenda. It's a massive spiritual war. It is a, it's a spiritual war. And we win. <laughs> oh, we definitely win. <laughs> Winning, we've already won. Yeah, we just playing it out. Yeah, we yeah. just playing it yeah. out. That's right. Bro. It's already won. Yeah. It's, it's already set in stone. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, That's it's, right. It's already been chiseled. On tablets. <laughs> Before the earth was even created. That's right. It was already it was already a done deal. That's right. Hell, the prophets were put, put they was placed straight in the hologram. They was right in the hologram, right in the fire. I bet y'all like, don't oh, know. Shit. You know the president's a devil worshiper? You know all the politicians worship Satan, right? How come, and you're a homosexual? He's so goofy as shit. Because you ask these people, did, did you know all the politicians all worship Satan? They're all devil worshipers. They don't know that. He these worships people Satan. Asleep, man. Saying, so I do too. Yeah, a lot of these people, they worship, they do, they actually worship the devil. What the fuck is Baal? Well, who is Baal? Baal, that's the god of this world. You know? The God, they worship the God of this world, which is Baal. That's right. Which is Satan. That's right. And that big old orange thing over there. Oh my God, let me show oh them. Yeah, don't put that on camera. Uh, this is, they don't quit, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's why this is, Satan's the God of this world, That's man. Ridiculous. 
That's why you got these women walking around. It's hard to concentrate because you got half naked women walking around. Why do we have half naked women walking around? Because this is the kingdom of Satan. That's why. And that's why in every everything you watch on TV, there's always some kind of anti-biblical propaganda in the news. Everything you see in the news is all geared towards uh, some kind of anti-Christ agenda. That's why they, they legalized gay marriage. That's why when the gay marriage was legalized, Obama put up the rainbow flag on the White House. But I thought Obama was a Christian. That bitch up in rainbow colors and all. That rainbow colors. Yeah, from, you know, the big ass spotlights on the that's, sa that's satanic. Yeah. That is satanic. Right. And it, what, was it yeah, time? It was time, wasn't it? Or was it people? I can't remember. You know what? I, I think it was people. No, it was people. I'm going to get that mag if I can. It was, it was people. I'm going to get that magazine if I can, man. I just, that. Got again. I just I forgot all about it, man. Just look, it look, they keep shipping Muslims in. They shipping Muslims into America by the millions. I and mean, everybody will accept a Muslim. But say you believe in the Bible and watch how much hatred you'll get. Watch how many people come against you. You can say you a Muslim. If you tell people you're a Hindu or a Buddha, they'll be like, oh, that's cool. Look, can I do some yoga with you? They'll, they'll think that's cool and trendy. But say you believe in the Bible. Then, then, then people will actually literally hiss at you. You're like, you ain't supposed to talk about religion. And right, they're like, no talking about religion. They'll hiss at you. <laughs> they'll hiss at you. That's why, man, the Lord's bringing a great destruction to this nation, man. She didn't here in America. Yep. A little Chun Lee right there. Chun <laughs> Lee? Yeah, Chun Lee. Chun Lee was real, you know, she'd be hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give me, I'm gonna give me some Chun Li's. Shit. Hundred up. Yeah, hundred up. <laughs> Chun Li. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Uh, Second Peter. Two and two, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Hmm. Spoken of. They can't accept the truth. They were blinded from the truth. So what, what they can't, they don't have no choice but the skull. That's why everybody's got a shit. That's why everybody's got a problem with the Bible. You know, I don't know if they believe it or not. When they walk away from this motherfucker, they we still in their mind. Tomorrow we just happen to pop in their mind. They talk to their wicked ass friend. That's why they hate it so much. Yeah, yeah, because we stuck, we stick to it. Cause, yeah, because these the words in this Bible just right it just be cutting people's spirit that's up. An evil mind right there. That cut that this Bible will cut the hell out your spirit. That's why people hate the Bible. That's right. He, Who's he, this polite? Only the prophets got that power to do that. <laughs> we got polite. Right, polite. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were one of polite's disciples the other day. One of his actual disciples. Oh, yeah, for, for real? Yeah, yeah. It, that I dude. was cutting. I was having fun with him. I was clowning him. You don't get me drunk and I'll be clowning him. You don't oh, do shit. that. Oh, One of his actual disciples, man. Didn't know yeah, shit. Yeah, you don't want to get no. Didn't know shit. I mean, they're all easy to cut, man. They're all a joke. You have fun with them, man. You don't get mad if, and angry and want to scrap and shit. If they ain't coming in the name of the Lord, that's a heat. You know that. What's up, man? <laughs> Where are you from, man? From Syria. You from Syria? Yeah. Oh, okay. What you doing You're here? You're Assad's people. There protecting your people? No, Assad, your people. He's not uh, your people for real? Are well, you trying to say Assad's a bad guy? I know, but let me ask you a question. Right. No, Assad, the I mean, leader of Syria. I'll go ahead and ask him. You ask him. That's so, it, I, I forgot what you're doing. So, what do you think about Assad? <laughs> you, you think Assad's a bad guy or a good guy? I'm not into politics. Oh, you're not into politics? It's not politics, man. It's, it's not, not politics. politics. Yeah, but... they, over there, they over there trying to uh, destroy all your people. Uh -huh. The United States want to murder all the Syrians. What about the Israelis? What do you think of them? No comment. I don't really know I don't know enough about the subject. Yeah, it's right. Okay, that's cool, though. I understand. Good day, though. Okay, that's a, that's a Syrian Gilligan type. Yeah, he does. That's <laughs> like a Syrian Gilligan yeah. type. <laughs> yeah, I don't know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. I'm here to study, but I know nothing. <laughs> that's a college life. Hey, that's a co that perfect you know, college student. After four, six, eight years, he's going to say that same thing. <laughs> I'm just here to study. I know nothing. <laughs> I just here to study. Me know nothing. <laughs> All these college students are retarded. They don't none of them. They don't none of them know nothing. 
You are dumb as fuck. I bet mean, she know how to suck a dick, though. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Hand jaws and all, foot jaws. <laughs> Shoot ping pong balls out her pussy. <laughs> that bitch got skill. <laughs> you stupid, you man, you fall in love with these girls, man. Yep. That's so man. That's why I, I was what just, you can. did you Hit watch the, the, the new GMS videos? Uh, well, uh, Elder Tahar with Apostle. I don't think Elder. I've seen the new ones yet. But he was saying, in the kingdom of heaven, we ain't going to have no, uh, no, uh, what's that called? Uh, I don't know, he didn't say star cross lover. What? We, you ain't going to have the, uh, what's that word when you in love with somebody? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Your one true love. <laughs> soulmate. Yeah, soulmate. There you go. Right, right. There ain't going to be no soulmates in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Okay, you ain't going to have that one woman. That's my soulmate. That's my hunt. No. In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have innumerable women. Yeah, that's right. That's you right. Know what I mean? That's why it's called the kingdom of heaven. Multiple. Multiple. In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have multiple women. Ain't gonna multitudes. Be, ain't going to be no soulmate. Talking about it's my soulmate. Multitudes. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not how a real man gets down. A real man likes a, you know, likes likes a lot of women. Likes a lot of women. That's a man of the Lord. Is that Meredith? Is that, is that Meredith? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> she probably, she, she looks like she high as hell. She just got done shooting dope on the bus. She's probably just not coming down off of here. Hey, Meredith! Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew, 19, 28. What's up, man? What's up, man? You, you like the ideal mini wives, or you just want one special dude? Yeah, I'm a wife. What? I ain't gonna get married, so I'm like 50, 60 years old. Well, you know. Well, marriage, though, is like. I'm sure you've never married, though. Right? No, the, the biblical definition of marriage, though, is sex. Once, once you have sex with a woman, that's your wife. That's right. Well, what you mean? It depends, it depends. Don't you know that whole ritual of you being in front of a wicked ass man or a preacher or whoever and exchanging rings? Don't you, that's, none of that's in the Bible. You know, the pagan. You know what? You know what? I, 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 that's I, I, not I, in the Bible. Now, 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 that's what I do believe. I don't believe you gotta go to the church right. and get paper and shit to say shit. Yeah, that's right. You, it's like, like a process. You go, it's like, you know, it's like an agreement with the dad when you find a wife. And plus, you got to pay the dad some uh, some some money. Oh, just, out of just out of respect. Just out of respect. That's I right. Feel like, you know I, mean? I feel like it's between you. That's right. Man. He's got a flute. Yeah, man. That's that's the, you ever heard of common law? They are the parents. You heard of common law? That's when you live with a woman for a certain amount of time, and that certain states respect common law marriage. Yep. You don't. You know. Like there goes Claude. I don't know if Ohio got that down on the <laughs> But that whole yeah, idea of marriage shit is in the party. Marriage, wedding, and yeah. rings, and that's just for show. What's that ring, bro? Cool. That ring, you know, the. It's cool, but like, it's just for show. I don't gotta be like, like that. Like the, uh. That, that ring goes back to the, the, that's a Viking tradition, the pagan Vikings. Right, 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 right. Well, some people say go back to Saturn's ring. Saturn's ring. I believe it. That, that's, yeah. that's paganism. Yeah. Yeah. When they throw flowers and stuff on that's the... That's the one thing about homosexuality. Oh, man, that's a lot. Let me ask you a question. What do you think about homosexuality? Fags and shit. I don't like that. I don't like that. You're good. I don't like that. Matthew 19 to 28, and Yahushua said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have fallen me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Oh, that's talking about the reincarnation. Go ahead. He also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or mother, or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold. Woo! 
That's Ooh, a hundredfold. That, that's, that's, that's go back yeah. to the kingdom of heaven we just talking about. That's right. That's what we praying and waiting for. And a hundredfold. What does this mean right here? Man, I, I don't get revelation. It's that microchip. Because you know how, uh, right, you know you can pay for, if you go to the store, some stores, you can pay with your cell phone or you can pay with a credit card. Soon what they're going to do is they're going to put a microchip in everybody. And if you want to buy anything at the store, you're going to have to have that chip. It is going to be in your head or in your hand. And you ain't going to be able to uh, buy no food, no water. You ain't going to be able to get on a Coda bus. You ain't going to be able to fly. You ain't going to be able to do nothing without that microchip. Because where the brother's going with this is America that you know of right now is going to be completely shut down. And there's going to be a great family. Family of food, family of water. We ain't going to be a family of the word. Ain't none of it. It's, it's going to be a mass society. It's going to be, you seen the movie The Road? You seen, you seen the book of Eli? That is, that's a reality. That's why they made it a movie. But anyway, I'm going to read this. This is in the scriptures, what he was explaining to you, how it's going to be in your right hand, your forehead. This is all in the Bible. A lot of people already got the chip already. Yep, that's right. Now they just, they, now we in that age where that technology is so advanced. Now they're going to start implementing it. It's, we, the technology now is crazy. You know what I'm saying? All these computers and everything. Like you said before, it's going to be this. This is the devil. He's all about to technology. Yep. You no, know, he's, he's trying. The devil that run this world, the goddamn fake Jews, they're trying to be the most high. They're trying to be the boy. They're trying to be the God. You know? Okay, here we go. This is Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Now your social security number is going to be linked to this card, never, this, this chip, and everything. But well, the social Medical. security and ID, that was the precursor to the chip because they, right. they had playing this chip out years ago. That's right. That's why they give us all numbers. That's all move to Canada. Canada, the, the whole earth is going to happen. It's going to be the whole earth. Because what they're going to do, they're going to they, they're going to do away with America. And there's going to be a one world government. That's what's coming. They already put. That's why they got the United Nations. You see what I'm saying? You ain't never heard of seeing people have pets that got chips in them? They've been doing this. But it's gonna get to the point they're gonna they're gonna do it. That's a big surprise. I see it coming next month too. I just see something coming that's well, gonna be. Yeah, it's like if you that's lose right. your phone, you could track your phone. Man. Now. I am praying every day that some surprise comes next month, man. That's why I was hoping this when summer end, man. Well they say I don't give a fuck about no summer. I ain't out here trying to have a good day under the sun sign, man. That's why they said the economic so, what does the Bible, this is a random question, but what does the Bible say about weed? Weed, <laughs> smoking weed, that's a brother. We ain't heard that one in a while, though. You ain't supposed to smoke, you ain't, be, you ain't supposed to smoke nothing. The herbs is made, you make them into um, teas. That's what herbs is for. Yeah, because yeah, cannabis can cure cancer. Right. You know what I mean? We know There's that. properties in. They've been doing, they, they talking about they doing the research now. They fall away, they done they research. Been, uh, Right, right. Long time ago on weed, man. That's why it's illegal. Right. And that's how they know it cures this this properties Cause, in it Because smoking it does. I used to smoke a lot of weed. You know what I'm saying? But smoking right, it, it messes your lungs up. We all did that, man. Fucks yeah, your man. head up, and too. Man, yeah, fucks your head up, You ain't supposed to smoke nothing. Nothing. That's and I don't give a fuck how good it make you feel. You ain't supposed to smoke nothing. Because the <laughs> oxygen you off of your to, brain. You're supposed to uh, ingest it. Right. That's right. It's supposed to be eaten. It's supposed to be eaten. <laughs> Orally. <laughs> Yeah, that's I know you do. I know you do. But you know what? I've been trying to ain't nobody saying stop we ain't judging right now because you ain't you ain't judged on it right now. You're not judged on it right now. You it's gonna be a it's gonna come a time that since you've been told that it's gonna come a time that you you should have known that oh, I should have stopped doing this, I should have stopped doing that, like adultery. Look, you know how your boy got a badass, fine ass girl. You ain't supposed to be even looking at that girl, man. Checking around like, damn. Yeah, you supposed to turn your head. That's right. You ain't. That's adultery. Yeah. And I ain't thought no, it was only adultery. See, I thought it was only adultery if you was married. Well, well that, that's the, that's this. But like that right comes here. back. That means like, if you had if sex you had with sex her, with they're somebody, married. Yeah. yeah. If you if so, you ain't never supposed to mess with someone's girl, even right. if, if, there's no such thing as girlfriends. 
A that's, girlfriend is a wife. That's Esau's words. In the eyes of the Lord, a girlfriend is a wife. That's you right. know what I mean? That's right. That's right. That's why if you have a girlfriend you ain't got married, you still catch somebody with her or try to holler, you're going to kill that motherfucker. Yeah, you want to kill that. She go out and cheat on you, you're going to want to kill them both. You, you gonna Even like, if it is your girlfriend. Because you're going to be like, that's my bitch. Am I right or wrong? Right. You know? So this world is all confused and it's upside down and backwards, man. You know? We're taught to we're taught to be a, a, to accept adultery when that's a wicked ass deed. Then the Bible says it's punishable by death. By can, death. By death. The Lord all these looks, rappers they push that shit to death. Death. And that's a righteous thing to do if you catch somebody. And I ain't saying go do it. And don't go do it. But not until the time yeah, comes. The Lord comes. The Lord. But the eyes well, like Lord. well, remember OJ Simpson? Yeah. What he did was actually, you know, it was a righteous act. Because they ever try to say OJ's a murderer. She committed, her last name was Simpson, Nicole Simpson. She she went and got with another dude. And he, he he loved that woman. He loved China, that woman. In China, you, she was you can kill whoever slept with your face. <laughs> the middle, over there, a lot of them. Middle East, they're stoning your ass. They're 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 yeah, they will kill you. You know that's how, you know why they keep them and how they know about them? Because we were there at one time. Yep. We taught them this. No, that's why you see their women walking around with their head covered. Our women used to do that. Used to. <laughs> used to. But now the women is the man. The man is the woman. Now all the men, all the men have been emasculated. They all the men are effeminate now. You see how all these men they got the spirit of a bitch on them. A lot of these dudes. You know, I'm just straight up. Hey, I'm just being straight up. Heard, that's the same in the hood. You talking shit to a nigga? You a bitch, nigga. You just hey, look around. All these guys are. Oh, big spirited ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, that's what it's in the scripture. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Romans. I'm gonna go to Romans one. Big spirit. Cause you see it though. <laughs> that's why. That's why we all. It's so easy to control. It's so easy for the government to control everybody. Cause you got all these uh, feminine men. You know what I'm saying? You got the women are all out of order, running their mouth, breaking up the families, leaving their husbands, Ooh. and the men just put up with it. And check it out. Just a lot of it started at birth with a lot of these faggots because they're, they've been fed it. And they've been raised by through single water. mothers. Right. Through they the water. You know what I mean? Through the, flood, through the food. Like, like um, they put estrogen in the food. Yeah, they do. You know, which makes you a feminist. Estrogen yeah. like um, soy. 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 Soy is an estrogen? Yeah. yeah. It, it helps produce estrogen. Estrogen. 